Hi guys and welcome back to Amelia Tutorials. So as you know, a couple of updates ago we released a new step-by-step 2.0 booking form and in this video we are going to show you a more detailed uh, tutorial on how you can configure some options, customize it uh, to your needs. But before we get into the tutorial I just want to mention currently there is an August sale uh, going on on our website so if you want to grab one of our uh, licenses make sure to check it out before it ends. And without further ado, let's just start the tutorial. Okay, so you guys can check out the new, uh, the documentation for the new step-by-step -step booking form under appointments, step-by-step -step booking view. Uh, this replaces the old booking, step-by-step -step booking form, and we will work on releasing redesigned uh, booking forms for the catalog, events, and events uh, views. So, uh, in short, you have your services, you have your employees, you have everything you need, and you only need to add Amelia to your website. So, when we go to the page, we just, we temporarily remove this one because we need a different uh, form. So, in here, you can just start typing Amelia, and here it is, Amelia step-by-step -step booking. Drag it in here, and this is it. This is the um, new step-by-step -step booking form with any, without any predefined parameters. So once it loads, you see all available services uh, and you see available extras in there. If you want to add some, um, continue to the date, uh, the date picker, and then we automatically load the time picker. We continue there, we enter the customer's name, for example, Jane Doe, Jane at test.test, .test, and we enter the phone number. So in here, once we click on continue, you get the summary and the notice that the payment will be done on site. If you have online payments enabled, you will be informed either that you're going to be redirected to WooCommerce, for example, or from to Mali uh, or uh, that, a, that a new window will pop up for PayPal or you will see the credit card details below if you're using Stripe. So this is an on-site payment so once we click on continue we will book the appointment and we will see the date, the time, the service, the employee, the payment, how it's handled and the name of the customer. Um, of course we can modify the booking form by pre-selecting parameters. Now we only have one category, which is barber, but we can predefine it by selecting uh, service. For example, if you only want to show service number two, we can update the form and on the front end, once it reloads, it will be redirected to date and time. Since the uh, employee, there's only one employee assigned to the service and there's only one service in the form. So you only need to continue with selecting the date and the time and entering your information and so on. Uh, if we go back to services and we add a dummy category, uh, for example, um, styling, no, not the service, sorry, category. Category is styling. So once we add a new category and add a service to this category, for example, hair dye under category styling, duration is one hour, pricing is $20. Once we save it and assign an employee, of course, if we move back to the simple short code without predefining anything, you will see that the service dropdown now first includes the category. Once you hover, hover over the category, you will see available services in that category. Um, the new step-by-step -step booking form is customizable by going to customize section. This is also uh, explained in the documentation under customize design 2.0. So it's just explained in detail here. As you can see, it's a very long page mm -hmm. that explains and covers everything there is in the new customize section. But once you land on it, you just select the booking form 2.0 and since it currently only has the step-by-step -step booking form, this is the only form you will see. And in here, you can configure the global font settings, which you can choose 
from from these here or you can add your custom font which requires the url to the font and the defining of the font family let's use open sans for example and set the colors the sidebar color can be changed to let's say something reddish like this and the sidebar text is remains white so the, basically the content color color can also be changed everything you see here can be changed so if we move to this we get a little um, color in in the booking form uh, you guys can go through it and check it out also in the sidebar the options are to hide it on the desktops it's it automatically looks like this on mobile devices so you can hide it as well on the desktop menu and the labels in here are for the company email which is get in touch so you can add contact us for example and the content is uh, more which is currently not displayed in here because as mentioned in here more is the only showing when a customer purchases a package after more than three appointments have been booked so for example if we configure a package in pro or developer licenses within the package uh, once you select your appointments they will be shown as when you add the appointment one two three after the third appointment you will see plus more in here so basically this is about it you can go through each step and once you click on it it will show up in here so you can change the labels uh, for example the step title which is date and time could be select your date and time i mean you can change almost everything the continue button you can set it to um, next step uh, also once you're changing uh, once while well, while we're at the button you can change how it looks it can be filled like this it could be plain which is empty and a little bit color uh, when you hover over it or it could be just the text without any uh, button around it so you guys can play around with the customized step a lot more than you could before uh, there are a lot of options in here so make sure to go through everything and see how it looks also don't forget to check out our documentation since it, it covers literally everything mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and while we're here you can see the plus more option when more than three appointments are added to the package mm -hmm. so i believe we shouldn't extend this video any further thank yes, you alexander should be okay. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful as alexander mentioned you have all of the different options uh, on the custom on the customized documentation and with this step-by-step 2.0 you can completely make the form fit your website uh, fit your brand your brand colors have the labels suit your business and your services so go to town explore it to play with it create any forms and you can even send us on instagram or any other social media the forms that you create we would love to see them and if you have any other requests for any tutorials or videos you want to see or any questions about the new step-by-step 2.0 -step which is faster and uh, better optimized i have to mention uh, please leave those down below in the comments and while you're there don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you guys for watching bye guys see you in the next one bye bye